React Native is a great tool for creating applications, but how to ensure their performance? So today, our experts at Jelvix have created six easy tips for improving your React Native app. Have a seat, we're just getting started. We're Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. You're on our channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. First, let's talk about why performance optimization is important. A slow app can lead to poor user experience, frustration, and ultimately a lower retention rate. It can also impact your app's ratings and reviews in the App Store, so it's crucial to ensure your app is performing at its best. Moreover, according to a study by Aberdeen Group, a one-second delay in load time equals 11% fewer page views, a 16% decrease in customer satisfaction, and 7% loss in conversions. We hope we've scared you enough. So let's start fixing performance. The first tip we have for you is to reduce the number of renders. In React Native, every time the state or props of a component change, it triggers a re-render. This can be costly if you have a lot of components or if your component tree is deep. So to optimize performance, try to reduce the number of renders by using should component update or react.memo to prevent unnecessary re-renders. The second tip is to use Flatlist instead of scroll view for long lists. Flatlist is a high performance list component that renders items incrementally as you scroll which means it's more efficient than scroll view for large datasets. Take a look at the screen. Now, let's raise the degree. Third tip, explore code partitioning and lazy loading. These techniques will especially help bulky applications that use a lot of memory. In fact, we at Jelvix try to split every code because this can greatly affect the initial load time and the user's first opinion. In a nutshell, Code splitting is breaking up a large JavaScript code base into smaller bundles. Task managers like Gulp or Grunt can help with this. You can also import libraries like Webpack or require.js. Lazy loading, in turn, is a method that allows you to load code components when the user directly interacts with them. This is especially cool to do with photos, which according to the website HTTP Archive, on average, take up 45% of the total memory. Another way to optimize performance is to use native components wherever possible. Native components are written in native code and are optimized for performance. React Native provides many built-in native components, such as image, text input, and scroll view that you can use instead of creating your own custom components. Next, you can also optimize your app's images for better performance. Use optimized images that are compressed and properly sized for your app. You can also use tools like React Native Fast Image to lazy load images and improve the loading time of your app. Another tip is to minimize the use of third-party libraries. While third-party libraries can save you time and effort, they can also slow down your app if they're not optimized for performance. So only use the libraries that you really need and make sure they're well-maintained and up-to-date. Finally, you can also improve your app's performance by optimizing the JavaScript code. Use tools like the React Native Debugger or the Chrome Developer Tools to profile your app and identify performance bottlenecks. You can also use tools like Hermes or Metro to optimize your JavaScript code and reduce the bundle size of your app. We hope your next React Native project will exceed your expectations and be the most productive you've ever created. Good luck with your development. Now, for fans of self-study, we recommend our other video comparing React Native and Flutter. You'll find even more useful things there. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.